This is pre-algebra one four notes. So make sure you're watching the right video for pre-algebra. I have titled this lesson, The Sound of Algebra. Similar to the sound of music, except we're gonna be singing about algebra. The first example here says to graph the ordered pair three, four. Now this should be review, but just in case you're a little bit rusty, we're gonna start at the very beginning. Oh. That's a song in the sound of music. Let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. The origin is the beginning. So if you would follow me on the graph below, the origin is here. Notice this is my x-axis and vertically that would be my y-axis. So you're first gonna take care of your x and in the ordered pair, three, four, Three is my X and four is my Y. Hopefully this will all come back to you. So the X coordinate is three. I'm going to move, let's change colors. I'm gonna move three to the right. So that goes here, three units to the right. That's my X. Then I need to use four units up because that is my Y. So from three, I now move up four and then we would put a dot right here and there is the uh, coordinate three, four. All right, so I hope this is review. I want you to try to do example B, so pause the video right here. Really, I want you to pause and try to plot zero, four, and four, three on the graph to the, to the right, okay? Now let's see how you did. Let's see how you did with zero, four. The zero might have thrown you off. Again, zero is our X, four is our Y. So for zero, I start at the origin and I do not travel at all on the X axis because I traveled zero. So I'm only gonna be traveling up four units. So there is the point zero, four. Now to plot four, three, Four is my X, so I'll move over four, and three is my Y, I'll move up three, and here is the point four, three. Okay, we write ordered pairs from points that are given. So here we want to write the ordered pair for these three points. So for G, I would have to decide what the X value is. For G, I went over one and up one, so the Coordinates for G is one, one. F, the coordinates for F. For F, I went over four. Oh, and I did not go up at all. When I went over four, I went up zero. Those seem to be the ones that um, are difficult for students. And now let's look for H. For H, we go over two. Let's change colors. I'm gonna go over two and up three, one, two, three. See the coordinate three? So H is over two, one, two, and up three. So again, I think that most students have difficulty when one of the values is zero. So if you travel on X, X has a value. If you do not travel up or down, then Y is zero. In example B, we traveled zero on X and we went up four. You may want to rewind and, and review that. All right, the next term might be, might be new to you. This term is called a relation. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. Whenever you have a set of ordered pairs, that means they have a relation with each other. They're grouped together. It's kind of like a family reunion. They're all together inside these uh, brackets and that those brackets are what denote that it's a relation. <clears throat> All right, any X and Y paired like this in parentheses is called an ordered pair. Now, again, let's go back to our sound of algebra. I like to draw my X and Y like this and make my X look like a lady in a pretty little dress and then this very manly shaped Y. So X and Y, I want you to think of the X value as a lady because ladies come first, and when you're plotting points, you always travel on your x-axis first, so ladies first. 
the gentleman would become second and a gentleman always stands when a lady comes into the room so the lady enters the room and then the gentleman stands up so maybe that'll help you think of why is always up so the gentleman stands so he's the vertical axis and the lady is the x horizontal axis okay all right we've already referred to zero zero and that is the origin so I need you to know whenever I refer to the origin it's zero zero all right next is the word domain the domain is always the set of X values so let's go back over here to um, me referring to the X uh, as the lady in the sound of music there happens to be this song that says doe a deer a female deer well I want you to think of domain I want you to think of a female deer for doe and then our X was our female representation here so hopefully that'll help you remember that all X values make up the domain that's just a little mnemonic to try to help you remember that the range is the Y values so our range is our Y value, the domain are the um, X values. So hopefully my little sound of algebra will be a fun way for you to remember those terms. All right, let's tackle this big old word problem. My goodness, there's a lot of words right here. Sue, she is following a recipe for cookies which require two cups, there's a number there, two cups of sugar for each batch of cookies made. Suppose that X represents the number of batches made. Okay, so we don't know how many batches she's going to make. That's going to be X. But for every batch, she's going to need two cups of sugar. So that's two per batch. So that's how I would write that um, expression, 2X. It says, number one, make a table of ordered pairs in which the X coordinate represents the number of batches made and the Y coordinate represents the number of cups of sugar needed. And let's test this for one, two, three, and four batches. Okay, so first thing they're asking me to do is to make a table. Here I go. We did this the other day. So this is gonna be my input, my X values. They said that those were batches and they want me to test it for one, two, three, and four batches. Then my output is going to be my Y value, and I don't know what those are yet until I do the operation. And this is the expression that I'm using because it's two cups of sugar per batch. So for one batch, I'll only need two cups of sugar because two times one is two. For two batches, I'm going to need four cups of sugar. For two batches, if it's two each, that's four cups of sugar. And then two times three, I'll need six cups. And two times four, I'll need eight cups. So the result here for my ordered pairs are one, two, two, four, three, six, and four, eight. <clears throat> All right, second, it wants me to graph my ordered pairs. That's why I rewrote the ordered pairs. You could make that even an extension of your chart if you would like. So I come over and I go one, my X value, ladies first, one, and then the gentleman goes up, one, two, stands up for the lady as she enters the room, two, and then we're gonna go up four to plot that point, over three, and up six, and my graph with all of my planning still wasn't big enough. So here we go, we're three, one, two, three, four, five, six, so approximately there, and four is gonna even go seven eight up a little bit more so it ran off the graph I'll try to do better and and provide you all with a big enough graph for your problems all right so number three this is the first assignment here's my second assignment my third assignment says determine the domain and the range now those might be new terms to us so let's go back doe a deer a female deer so third I need to define the domain the domain are my does, my females. What were my does? Here's my does. My domains are one, two, three, and four. 
and it's a set, so you need to practice your squiggly brackets. I need to practice mine too. And our range is our Y value, and my Ys are here. These are my range, two, four, six, and eight. Okay, we're gonna practice problems similar to this in class tomorrow and make sure that we know all of our um, terms in the sound of algebra. I bid you all adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you. All right, thanks and have a great day.